Hello, my name is Michael King. I'm with the Tribal Air Monitoring Support Center. I'm the Tribal Air Monitoring Support Center Technical Specialist 3. I'm here to demonstrate how to properly purge a calibration gas cylinder. Typically, you have a calibration gas cylinder that is a single blend or dual blend or multi-gas blend. This gas cylinder in particular is a multi-blend gas cylinder. Um, it's got carbon monoxide, nitric oxide, and sulfur dioxide uh, blended in to the cylinder uh, at a known gas concentration. Um, so typically your gas cylinder will come with a, a cylinder valve cover. Um, and you want to make sure that the cylinder valve cover is uh, removed. Um, anytime you transport it, make sure you return the cylinder valve cover uh, back to its place. And it just screws off the top like that. Here is your gas cylinder regulator valve. You have two um, gauges. One gauge is, is for the uh, gas cylinder valve. Um, and it tells you the pressure that's within the gas cylinder. And this gauge goes from zero to 3,000 PSI. And the regulator output valve um, goes from zero to 100 PSI. So you want to begin by attaching your, your regulator valve. And this turns clockwise onto your connection here at the cylinder valve. You give it a, your regulator valve will be able to slightly turn until you actually give it a good snug down. Um, and you'll need a channel lock to do this. So you can use a crescent wrench as well. So it's pretty snug down on there. Give it a slight turn. Um, the next thing you want to do is just make sure your your valves are all closed in the closed position. So as you can see on here, you'll see increase and decrease. You want to make sure you close this valve, which is the valve that regulates the gas cylinder. And this is the valve that regulates the gas that's coming out of the regulator, typically to your calibration gas system or the dynamic dilution calibrator. Okay. Another thing I like to do is I like to attach the regulator valve to an external pump just to help draw out the air that might be within might be stuck with inside the the valve itself. So let me do that really quick. Okay now that we have the regulator valves connected, um, what we will do is we want to evacuate any air that's within the regulator valve. So what I did is I attached the regulator valve to an external pump. So as you can see, um, the cylinder valve pressure gauge is reading zero. What I want to do is I want to open that up. At the same time, open up the output valve just to evacuate any air that might be in this portion of the regulator valve and the portion for the output section of the regular valve. So I want to close everything up now. So we'll close the regulator output valve off and then the cylinder valve, a regulator valve. So now we want to turn on the cylinder and shoot some air into it. So right now it's showing that there's roughly um, about 1,750 PSI pressure. So, what we want to do is we want to get the cylinder valve the output valve 
situated so that we get pressure coming from the cylinder to the regulator but we want the output pressure at 30 psi because typically uh, cal gas cylinders um, provide an output of cal gas to a, a multi-gas calibrator or dilution dynamic system calibrator at 30 psi so as you can see we're shooting up to 20 psi now we're at 30 psi and now our cylinder valve is closed and our output valve is closed. Now we want to purge the cylinder. So we'll shoot a little bit of cow gas in, close, and open up the output valve. And we want to do this several times. As you can see, the cylinder pressure gauge valve went all the way down to zero, meaning that all gas has been evacuated from the regulator. So we'll do that again, we'll shoot a little bit of cow gas in, and we'll exit out on the output side. And then we evacuate the gas. Again, we'll shut off the output regulator valve, and we want to make sure that our cylinder valve is closed. And we'll do it again, we'll open it back up, the cylinder valve open back up, closed. So we got gas into the regulator valve, now we're going to release that gas. Close the output valve again. Open up the cylinder valve. Close. And open up the output valve again. And close. So that is how you properly um, purge a gas, calibration gas cylinder. Um, there's other ways that you can do it if you don't have uh, an external pump. Likewise, you can vent to the outdoors. Um, but make sure you're in a well ventilated area when you're doing this um, and that's it um, hope you enjoyed this short video thank you very much